Well, Danelle, first of all, it's it's not been a bad week, has it, with the, the win at Salford and then the cup winning midweek? Yeah, yeah. Um, we've had a two, two good results and, yeah, it's been a, been a good week. How important was, first of all, the, the win at Salford? Because there was a lot of talk about the away form and, and you've got that kind of off your back now, haven't you? Um, I think it was huge for, for the team overall. Obviously, I haven't been involved in the previous games as such, so I wasn't too aware of the away form. Obviously, I've heard things, but it wasn't something I was trying to focus on. I was just trying to focus on my job for the team and what the gaffer wanted, wanted from me and, and the team overall. And um, we listened to what, to what he wanted and the fans were great, so it helped us get that result and hopefully we can pick up some more points away now. And the, and the good thing about it as well was not only was it a win and it was a win away from home but also a clean sheet as well which as a defender obviously must have pleased you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I think as well as wins, clean sheets bring confidence. Um, it shows that we're doing things right and it makes winning a lot easier because obviously if we, don't, if we don't concede all we've got to do is score to win the game or yeah, at least get a draw so I think that, that, that was huge. And confidence is so important in any sport, but particularly in football. And the managers talked about trying to get a bit of consistency now. Um, with the week that you've just had, hopefully you're on the right path. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think confidence is a funny thing, you know. It can be there for, it can be there, and it can go as quick as it, as it came. So I think footballers play play their best when when they have confidence. And it's not something you can just get easily. It comes off the back of results, off the off the back of good performances. And I think. We've been trying to do that, obviously, midweek with the, with the game against Bolton. I think it was a good performance. We tried to do the right things and we played some good football at times. So I think in this league, you know, um, you, you win three games or, or you win two in, in, in a week and um, confidence confidence helps a lot and then you can get some momentum and, and the, the table can change huge, but um, it's still early, so yeah. And you now go on another trip to, to Walsall and having had that away win now, you must go there with, with a lot more confidence, maybe. Um, I wouldn't say a lot more confidence. I think we're, we, we all, we, we've always known what we can do. We all believe in ourselves and um, we just take every game one game at a time and, and hopefully we can get another result. Walsall haven't been in the best of form recently, but I don't know whether that's anything that the manager or the other players talk about or is it just solely about what you're going to do? If I'm honest with you, I haven't paid no attention to, to Walsall. That's not to disrespect them or anything, but I think it's best that we focus on ourselves because when we're at our best, we, we're, we're able to compete. So, like I said, it's still early. The table doesn't really mean anything. So, things things can change very quickly. I'm pretty sure this went with the table at the end of the season. So, regardless of their form, we need to be up for it because I'm sure they're going to be up for it, ready to, to change their form. So that's the case. What about yourself? Are you are you settling in nicely now? Are you enjoying your football? Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's still early doors, but. Um, I've managed to find a place now and stuff, so slowly, step by step, um, I'm getting more comfortable. I'm still um, getting to know everyone on a, on a personal basis, but um, people have been welcoming towards me. Um, the gaffer's been good, people have helped me out in different areas, so I'm grateful and um, hopefully I can keep, keep settling in and hopefully feel at home as soon as possible. And it's important that we talk a lot with, with footballers who are new to clubs that you know, we see you on the pitch and people forget that you, you're trying to sort your life out behind the scenes as well when it's all new to you. Yeah, yeah, for, um, for sure. It's not easy. I was from about four, four and a half hours away from home, being from Southampton, so I think things are a lot different here. It's not like I can just pop up, put back home to my mum's house, get some food or anything. So, yeah, I think it's important to transition uh, off the pitch as well as on the pitch, but on the pitch I'm just trying to trying to learn as quick as possible. I'm trying to, I'm here to, to learn and progress. So I'm just trying to listen to everything the manager tells me to do and try try um, do what he wants me to do on the pitch. And you're here for a, for a season from, from Southampton, as you say. Uh, how does it work? Because presumably Southampton don't just kind of say, right, there you are, you, you get on with it. They presumably keep in close contact with you to check how you're doing and watch the games. Is that how it works? Uh, yeah, for sure. I've got... Um, Obviously, there's a loans manager at Southampton, and obviously they've got like different various teams who will keep in touch with me. Um, they've actually been up to watch two of the games already, which is quite quite helpful because I get the feedback that I need, and it's not as if like I'm just here in a big in a big pond by myself, like a small fish. Um, 
I'm a regular contact, and if I ever need anything, um, they have a phone call away, so it's quite, it's quite handy. And it's, it's really vital for you and important for your development as a player to be able to come to a club like this and get, get games under your belt. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think um, I'm at a great place, so it's up to me now to, to perform and, and get them games, because it's not just going to be given to me, but um, I think I'm in good hands with the gaffer and stuff, so hopefully... Like I said, I'm here to learn, I'm always hungry to learn, you know, I've got a lot to improve in my game and I've got good players around me and good experienced players, so it's about me being able to soak all that in as quickly as possible and be able to, to add new stuff to my game and show what I can do.